During the 2021 football season, Fruitport football went just 4-6. and six. They finished fifth in the OK Blue, but last season, the Trojans were tired of being the underdog and ended up changing the perception of what football was known for at their school. Welcome to the heart of Fruitport and witness the new era in Trojans football. Hey, let's have a good day today. Let's go. Make it count. Right, Campbell? Right, go. Arms are closed. Ready to go. Did I do it right this time? You sure did, coach. Guiding these young athletes through the ups and downs is head coach Nate Smith. In the heart of Fruitport, a town where Friday night lights up with the passion, grit, and undeniable spirit of the game. We take you inside the journey of Fruitport High School. Hey, be efficient. Be efficient in it, right? A look behind the shield. A look at the Trojan standard. Full step. Get as much uh, flexing in as you can before you get to the numbers. I'm Nate Smith, head football coach at Fruitport High School, entering our sixth season. Here. Last season had a great season. You know, I think our guys really maximized their ability. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about pursuing Arte and, and being a brotherhood, and I think that was a, a big focus that they had. And I think we saw a lot of things come to fruition. Um, you know, last year was a was a was a great year for us on the scoreboard and and record wise. Um, but I think a lot of the great things that took place, we're going to see uh, this this the 2023 team build upon that. The sun rises on a new era, where dreams are forged and bonds are strengthened. With every snap, every sprint, these athletes carry the weight of the town's expectations. What's up, Vanden? Should we have a really like intelligent conversation with the cameras on us? You want to talk about how, your Lions knowledge? Your vast knowledge of the Detroit Lions? Who is the... Hey, who's the Mount Rushmore of uh, the Miami Dolphins? Who would be on your Mount Rushmore? Uh, Since our video guy is demented and likes the Dolphins. Come on, coach. You know any non-fan picks Marino. Dan Marino. See? So. See? See, you know. You know, nobody likes the Dolphins. Prefer to disagree, coach. How about, say, how about your Lions, Mount Rushmore? Uh, Barry, Calvin. When they won the 50th, and probably Benny Blades. Oh, 36. He's one of my guys. I like Benny Blades. What about Hanson? Oh, well, I'm sure about Hanson. We'll you get four, right? I said night train lane. Oh, you said night train lane. All jokes aside, Coach Smith isn't just about winning games. He's about shaping character. Real quick, all the receivers are going to grab bags over here. Um, and then Lyman, you're going to play, we're going to rotate through, and we're going to line you up to uh, give us a defensive look. His fun-loving teaching approach challenges these players to strive for greatness on and off the field. Before practice can begin, senior Richard Wiggins does one last check to see if the team forgot anything to save his pals from having to run. Trying to grab the rest of the stuff. Should be all out, but I mean, uh, we forget something sometimes, so hopefully we grabbed everything. We didn't have Troji a second ago, so uh, we each had to carry something out. But. Yeah, they have the cones and the, 
the cabs just in case. So that way we have them. We don't have to have everyone come out here. And we just set it up over there when we're done. It's more of if we forget something, we have to run. Running. A punishment you don't really want in football. But running is football. It's almost inevitable. The relentless players who lay it on the line every huh? game. Their defense, led by coordinator ball. Billy Shanks. Billy Shanks, a mastermind of defensive strategy, has transformed the Fruitport defense into an impenetrable force. With an unwavering determination, he molds these athletes into a cohesive unit, a wall that stands unshaken. My name is uh, Billy Shanks. I am the defensive coordinator. But preparing them going into week one is basically understanding what Kenna was going to do. Understand where they're going to line up, the formations, you know, what's their strength, what's their weaknesses. So we break all that down on film. I'm going to beat on Dante. Who wants to beat on Dante? Anybody? Okay, Carrillo. Get your helmet on. You can beat on Dante. This might be a reward. Hey, if you have a great practice, you get to beat on Dante in pre-practice. I might be able to get some teachers to sign up. <laughs> Good. Keep your head up or you're gonna get face right face plant. It's like wrestling. Body goes where your head goes. Body goes where your head goes. So thorns, you know, get getting recorded right now. Yeah, I know. What's your social media handles? I mean this is going to be seen by millions. Everything is and a pretty, name. pretty, pretty just Jackson Thorns with an X, J A X O N Thorns. Yep. Single guy. Yep. You got a job, right? Yep. So you can afford like nice dates and yep. and like fancy, you know, take her out to Cookie Crumble or Crumble Cookie, right? Get a nice close up of that face. He's a little rosy. He's a wrestler. He's involved in extracurricular activities. Yep. Honor students, hey, 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 listen, stop lying. <laughs> they can fact check this stuff, you know what I mean? In the coming weeks, we'll witness the triumphs and challenges of these young warriors as they lay it all on the line for the love of the game and the honor of Fruitport. Get ready for a season of heart, determination, and unrelenting spirit. This is Fruitport High School football, where champions are made and legends are born. As the dawn of the 2023 season breaks, Fruitport High School's training camp becomes a crucible of sweat and dedication. Yes, good, just like this, okay? And then you can retract your arms. You do a diamond, where your elbows go? Okay, you can pull that down so we won't be right here, okay? Good. Come on, Van, and punch him, good. You're good, Wilder, you can get back to doing what you're doing. You ain't so bad. How do you utilize your tight end? Do you, do you can't tell you that's a, that's a secret. We we are just starting to utilize some tight end action. It's a secret. Well, one thing that's not a secret, Coach, is that in football, you run. And at the end of a hard day of training, when the coaches start to dance and let loose, one thing is for certain: players will run. Because running is discipline. Running is training. Running is football. His deal. That was uh, Farley's fun box. Okay, we only went 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I gave you a little bit of grace. It was the first time we've done it. Okay, we're gonna do that again, and we'll probably do it again and again. Your focus has got to be locked in. You can't touch corners. You can't not go through the sprint zones. Okay, there's got to be a full change of pace, okay? This time of year is about putting you through some mental strain so you know how to focus when things get tough. Okay, that first Thursday night, Friday night game, things are going to get tough. Things aren't going to go our way the whole time. Are you going to shut down? Are you going to start cutting corners? Are you going to start not doing what you need to do? No. You're going to do everything right because we're putting you through stuff right now. 
You understand? So it's not just for us to punish you guys and for fun. We're trying to put you in a situation that prepares you for Kenilworth Hills. Jack's break, go. Loud. Jack, Jack. 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 Go. Go. Loud. There's Rick. Right. 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 Jack. Right. You got it. Next time on the Trojan Standard Behind the Shield. The shield is about the team more than it is about the fight. Uh, the shield is about protecting the brother that's next to you, protecting the brothers that are behind you. Um, and then we, you know, the guys know that one of the Trojan sayings is that it's, it's better to come back from battle on your shield than without your shield. Because the shield represents that you stand there for the brothers that are beside you. So those are some of the things that we talk about when we talk about the Trojan standard. And um, like I said, I think, I think those things really kind of do permeate what we're trying to be about. And, you know, we're not there by, by any stretch. We're, we're a work in progress and we'll continue to keep pursuing our Arite as a team, as a program. We're gonna continue to win on, uh, win from within as, as a program. Um, same thing, fight on and, and, and try to leave a legacy, you know? So um, the beginning of the season is exciting. You know, like I said, it's trying to figure out what that team's identity is gonna be and some themes are already starting to come together. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. And obviously as the season unfolds, those, those themes and those identities become solid. Let's try to use our hands. Good Lord gave you hands for three things. Holding a girl's hand, wiping your keister, and catching a football.